Hey, what's up guys? It's Dark Arm Duelist and today doing a Centurion deck profile. So I'm really excited to do this one for you guys because this deck was actually suggested to me by one of my patrons, Gloomba. And this deck is one of the most powerful decks to play this format now that we finally have Premiera Premise, which is such a powerful card. So without further ado, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell there so you can get part of notification squad, and definitely check out the Patreon in the description below for all those awesome rewards. Like getting your name description every single video, getting assigned cards in the mail, and even getting to request a deck profile every single month to your Patreon. And definitely give Gloomba some love down in the comments down below for suggesting such an awesome deck. So let's get straight on into this one, guys. So first off, we're going to be playing three copies of Primera. Primera is one of the most powerful cards in the entire deck. So this card is, you know, while this card is a continuous trap card, level five or higher Centurion monsters that you control cannot be destroyed by card effects, which is an amazing ability to protect your big boss monsters. Also, if this card is normal or special summoned, you can actually add a Centurion card from your deck to your hand, except another copy of this card. Also, you cannot special summon Centurion Primera for the rest of the turn. And during the main phase, if this card is a continuous trap card, you can special summon this card out to your side of the field, which is such a powerful effect to instantly get this card out on your side of the field so you can start going in for your synchro plays. We then play three copies of Trudia. Trudia is an amazing three of in the build because this card has the ability during your main phase, you can place this card that you control and a Centurion monster from your hand or deck, extend to the copy of this card in your spell and trap card zone as face up continuous traps which is an amazing effect to instantly get two of your Centurion monsters in your back row so you can move them forward and go in for your synchro plays. Also during the main phase, if this card is a continuous trap card, you can special summon this card, then you can increase its level by four, helping you go in for level 12 synchro plays by using this card and your copy of Primera, which is so cool to be able to do. We then play a single copy of Autry. Autry is really good as a one of the deck. It's actually my favorite card in the entire deck for its artwork alone. But this card is really, if this card you control would be used as a singer until you can treat this card as a non-tuner monster. And if this card is normal or special summon and you have both an emblema card and a centurion card in the graveyard you can actually draw a card also you cannot special summon this card for the rest of the turn and during your main phase if this card is a continuous trap you can special summon this card which is a really cool effect we then play a single copy of gargoyle gargoyle helps out a lot in the deck just to be able to get an additional monster on your side of the field so you can go in for your synchro plays as this card lets you send a face up centurion card you control to the graveyard to special summon this card from your hand which is a great effect to help you get a level 8 monster on the field so you can go in for your synchro plays and if this card is sent to the graveyard as a synchro material you can add this card back to your hand and during the main phase if this card is a continuous trap card you can special summon this card then you reduce its level by 4 making it a level 4 to go in for different synchro plays we then play three copies of Lubellion. Lubellion is really good to be able to play with the Bestial package in this deck just to get you an additional monsters out on your side of the field so you can go in for level 10 plays or even level 12 plays using your copy of Lubellion. Lubellion is really good in the deck because this card, if it's in your hand in your graveyard, you can actually treat a level 6 or higher Dark Dragon monster to special summon out this card to your side of the field. You can also send this card from your hand to the graveyard to add a Bestial monster from your deck to your hand, except another copy of this card. And during the main phase, you can place a branded continuous spell or trap from your deck face up in your spell and trap card zone which is great to help us get to our copy of regained we then play a single copy of magnemut Magnemut is definitely a one of in the build, and all of your level 6 Bestial monsters actually share a common effect that lets you target a light or dark monster at either player's graveyard and banish it, and we do special summon this card from your hand, and it's a quick effect if your opponent controls a monster. But this card is particularly nice in this deck, this card also helps to search dragon monsters during the end phase after this card was special summon, which is a great effect for this card to have. We then play a single copy of Druus Worm. Druus Worm is really good in the deck to be able to just spot remove cards off the field. We then play a single copy of Sawnir. I like playing Sawnir in this deck as a one-up because it just has a different name than the rest of your monsters that are bestial monsters. So you can instantly get it out on your side of the field, which is why I play this card as a one-up in the deck, but you could play another copy of Druus Worm instead of this card. We play a single copy of Baldrake. Baldrake is really good as well in the deck to help you just spot remove cards off the field. We then play three copies of Ash Blossom. Ash Blossom is an amazing three of in the build to basically just use this card to stop your opponent from touching the deck. We also play three copies of Effect Veiler. Effect Veiler is great in this build to help you stop your opponent's monster effects. We also play three copies of Nibiru. Nibiru is really good in this build to help you break your opponent's board. And it's just an amazing hand trap this format. So 
That's it for the monsters, guys. Let's get in to the spells. So for the spells, we're going to start with a single copy of Terraforming. Terraforming is definitely a one-of in the deck. To basically just search out your field spell, which is extremely important to help us get to our copy of Stand Up Centurion. We then play a single copy of Synchro Rumble. Synchro Rumble is amazing in the deck because this card is actually searchable off Crimson Dragon, and it just gives you more value to play this card in the deck, so you can search it off your copy of Crimson Dragon when you summon out the Crimson Dragon. This card lets you target a tuner or a level 7 or 8 Dragon Synchro monster in your graveyard and special summon in defense edition, which is a great effect to instantly bring out one of your monsters to your side of the field. We play a single copy of Branded Regained. Branded Regained is really good in this build as one of to be able to work with our Abyssal monsters, especially Lebellium, as if a light or dark monster monster is banished except during the damage step you can actually target one of those monsters place that monster on the bottom of the deck and if you do draw a card and also once per turn if your opponent normally special summons a monster you can target a bestial monster in the graveyard and special summon it which is an amazing ability to be able to use we then play a single copy of wake up centurion wake up centurion is really cool in the deck as a one of because if a monster is face up in your spell and trap card dome you can declare a level of four or eight and then special on a centurion token that's a pyro dark zero attack and zero defense with the declare level but it cannot be used as a fusion or link material which is not that big of a deal because we're pretty much just going to go in for synchro plays also during your main phase you can actually banish this card from the graveyard and then send a centurion card of from your deck to the graveyard, except another copy of this card, which is a really cool effect. We can play a single copy of Bonds. Bonds is just amazing in this build as one of, and just helps out a lot in this deck overall. As this card is able to let you place a Centurion monster from your hand or graveyard in your spell and trap card zone as a face up continuous trap. And if a Centurion Synchro monster is special summoned to your field, while this card is in your graveyard, you can banish this card and then target a Centurion monster in the grave and place it in your spell and trap card zone as a continuous trap, which is great to help you recover your cards. We then play three copies of Stand Up. Stand Up is amazing in this deck. This card makes it so that you cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects while you control a Centurion Monster card, which is a great effect to be able to use. And I love that about this card. And it also has the ability during your main phase, if this card was activated this turn, you can actually send a card from your hand to the graveyard to place a Centurion Monster from your deck in your spell and trap card zone as a face up continuous trap card, which is a great effect to use. Cause this card is basically a one card combo for the deck to instantly get you the exact card that you need and if a monster is special summoned you can actually immediate effects resolves singer summon a singer monster using monster controls and material including a centurion monster which is such a powerful effect i love that about this card and it's so cool that it cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects while you control a centurion monster card we then play three copies of oath Oath is amazing in this deck as a 3 of because this card just helps out so much overall. You can activate one of these effects to either place a Centurion Monster from your deck in your spell and trap card zone as a face up continuous trap for the rest of the turn while you control that card, or any card with the same original name. You cannot special summon from the extra deck except Centurion Monsters or set a Centurion Spell or Trap directly from your deck to your side of the field, which is such a powerful ability. This card is definitely a 3 of in the deck and one of the most powerful cards in the entire build. So, that's it for the spells, guys. Let's get in to the traps. So for the traps, we're going to start off with two copies of Phalanx. Phalanx is really cool as a two-up in the build and just helps out a lot overall in this deck as a two-up. I really like this card in the deck. It lets you target a face-up monster on the field and banish it. And if you do, during the standby phase of the next turn, you get to special summon that banished monster to its owner's field. You can also banish this card from the graveyard and then target a Centurion Synchro monster in your graveyard, special summon it, but it loses 1,500 attack points. But I love that about this card that it's such a powerful disruption just help you banish a face-up monster on the field. We then play three copies of Infinite Impermanence. Infinite Impermanence is definitely a three of the deck just to stop your opponent's monster effects and also lock down entire columns of spells and traps. So that's it for the main deck, guys. Let's get in to the extra deck. 
So for the extra deck guys, we're gonna start off with two copies of Primera Premise. Primera Premise is definitely a two of in the extra deck, and I absolutely love this card. This card cannot be destroyed by battle unless it was special summon from the extra deck, and in this card is synchro summon, you get to add an emblem of card from your deck or graveyard to your hand. Then you can actually destroy two cards on the field, one from both players' fields. And if a face-up centurion card you control leaves the field by an opponent's card effect while this card's in the graveyard, you can special summon this card which is such a powerful effect. I love this card in the deck because it instantly gets you to your copy of Oath, and it's such a powerful card in this build. We then play two copies of Lagasha. Lagasha is an awesome boss monster to be able to make in this deck, and such a powerful card because this card is the ability your monsters with 2,000 or less attack cannot be destroyed by battle, and then this card is Sinker or something, you get to draw a card. Then, destroy the monster that your opponent controls with the highest attack. Also, during the end phase, you can actually place a non synchro Centurion monster Monster from your hand or graveyard in your spell and trap card zone as a face up continuous trap, which is an awesome effect to help you recover your monster so you can go in for more synchro plays. We then play a single copy of Auxilla. Auxilla is really cool as a one of in the build because this card is the ability to face up cards in your spell and trap card zone cannot be destroyed by card effects, just protecting your centurion monsters that are counted as continuous traps, which is awesome. This card also is the ability if this card is special summon, you can add a centurion card from your deck to your hand and also during the end phase, you can actually place one of your non synchro centurion monsters that's banished or in your graveyard in your spell and trap card zone face up as a continuous trap, which is a really cool effect. Similar to your copy of Lagasha. And then play a single copy of Crimson Dragon. Crimson Dragon is great because it helps you tag this card out for other level 12 Synchro monsters, which is so cool to be able to do. We then play two copies of Cosmic Blazar Dragon. Cosmic Blazar Dragon is really good in this deck because this card is basically just a walk in the gate that just says no to anything. This card can stop attacks. It can basically use it as a walk in the gate. It can stop summons. It's just really important to be able to play this card in the deck to be able to summon it out with your copy of the Crimson Dragon. We then play a single copy of Dispatter. Dispatter is great in this deck as one of because this card is a walking gate, and plus it can bring back your banished light or dark monsters to your side of the field, which is really cool. We then play a single copy of Chaos Angel. Chaos Angel is great in this deck because you don't even have to use a tuner to make this card. Plus, it spot removes cards off the field, and depending on what you use to make this card depends on the effects that it gets. If you use light synchro monster or use a light monster, synchro monsters you control are unaffected by monsters' effects activated by your opponent. If you use dark monsters, monsters you control cannot be destroyed by battle, which is such a powerful effect. We then play a single copy of Chaos Arch Fiend. This card gets absolutely massive. If any cards have been banished this turn, this card gains 2,000 attack points, and this card can attack all monster your opponent controls once each. Also, banish any monster destroyed by battle with this card, which is such a powerful ability for this card to have. Just to help you go in for game. We then play a single copy of Typhon because it's so easy to make in just about every single deck, and there's room in the extra deck, so this card is amazing. We then play a single copy of SP Little Knight. SP Little Knight is really good to play in this build because this card is just a double interruption. We play a single copy of IP to be able to make your copy of SP during your opponent's turn, and then finally play a single copy of Artemis just in case you need an extra deck monster to be able to make your copy of SP Little Knight. So that's it for the deck, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. This deck is super fun to be able to play. If you guys have never played Centurion before, you should definitely give this deck a try, especially now that we have the new level 8 Synchro Monster because it's such a powerful card to be able to play in the deck. And I really think this deck is going to be one of the most powerful to be able to play this format. So that's good for this one, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell on there so you can get notification squad. And we'll see you guys in the next video. See you later, guys.